Hello, hello, how are you doing today? We are back in, back here to talk a bit more about running. Olá, eu sou a Polônia <risos> e esse é o canal Polônia Rosa do Deserto. E esse é o Apolo que vai trabalhar. Poda! Como é que fala poda em inglês? Running. Hã? Huh? Running. 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 <risos> Running. Isso aí. É em inglês, então manda ver! Hello guys, so we are here again to talk a bit more about running, not just because it's fun, cutting stuff open and that. No, it's because it's important. We are gonna talk today a little bit about pruning a plant that was never pruned before, like this one. You can see all of its branches are like that. I don't remember the word, so look at it Tal? and see. They are very tall, very lean, very continuous, very different from a branch that has been pruned. So if you look here, you can see that even a plant that has never been pruned can become very, very interesting, can have very interesting forms and become basically a canopy. But this plant is really old. Okay, trivia time. How old do you think this plant is? Tell us down there, down here in the comments, and the winner will get a congratulations. Yes, that's all I can offer you right now. Sorry, I can't offer my mother's plants. <laughs> anyway, this is a very interesting plant, but it's also very old. It took it a very long time to get become like that. If you don't want to wait all this time, you can come and cut it yourself. It's gonna help with the blow to me, and it's gonna help with branches formation so it's a very smart idea to do that okay so you think how should I do that how big or how small should I leave the branches truth be told it's up to you whatever you think is best is best there is no perfect guide for that however the smaller your branch the more vigorous it's gonna grow and like however the smaller your branch the more vigorously vigorously it's gonna grow and the stronger will be its blossoming however if it's your first time you're not used to it yet and you don't feel very confident there is no problem whatsoever in doing it like that. You come and you cut it like that, you leave a lot of time. You leave a lot of space for it, so if something goes wrong, you can cut it down there, you can do it again. It's not gonna be the end of the world, you're not gonna lose your plant, something like that. So if you're not very confident, you can do that. Just come here and here and here that is enough your plant is now your desert rose is now ready to grow many more branches it's going to spread and it's going to get beautiful very soon however if you're feeling brave if you're a confident kind of person if you're not scared of doing some cuts you can come and do it a lot smaller that's how we prefer to do it that's how we see the best results but it's not the definitive method it's not the only method there is and there is literally no reason you shouldn't there is literally no reason you shouldn't do the other way except for other reasons i've already told you i've already said okay we cut it like that to help with the blossoming we do it on the crescent moon because it's gonna help the branches and we do it on a dry period you know so it won't rain and it won't become all rotten because water plus surgery equals not good and uh, don't forget to leave it in the sun morning sun if you live in a country like brazil or even some state of brazil and whatever sun it can get if you live in a country with almost no sun. Thank you for watching, bye bye!
that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share if you wanna. It's gonna help with the flowering. Flowering? Blooming. Blossoming.